Alright, so today I am going to try to make some chrome lures. Uh, I think I'm going to do this guy here, and this guy here, sorry about bumping into the camera. This is one I painted a long time ago by hand. I was going to say it's silver paint, but you know what, this might be sprayed chrome from a can, and then I put some top coat over it, which made it look horrible. And then I painted some blue on top of it by hand. I don't like the looks of it, so I'm going to try to make this chrome. So before I do that... Okay, so I washed this off with some rubbing alcohol first, because this is actually a used lure. So it's pretty nasty. It's got to have some dirt and stuff on it. Pick this up. I'll try it out. All right, I'll go ahead and paint the other two. I don't need to do that on camera, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I've got them all chromed up. This is the one that I had painted by hand before using silver paint and a dark blue. I didn't really like the looks of it, so I'm going to try this. This is to me as acrylic X23 clear blue. So it's a translucent paint. Um, it says acrylic on it, but you can see the it's flammable. What's in here is alcohol. Um, so it is alcohol based. I'm going to go ahead and use their thinner just because I have some. But um, Mr. Hobby color, Mr. Color leveling stuff is what I quite often use. I'm going to shake this up good and I'm going to paint the blue along the top here. And I am going to mix this half and half. One part paint to one part thinner. Put a little chartreuse on here. Got some golden fluorescent, I believe this is. Yes, fluorescent chartreuse. Woo! It's a good color, I like it. This is good paint, too. Oop. <clears throat> Fan came on. All right.
So this next one I'm going to do with X27 Clear Red by Tamiya. I'm going to do the same thing, mix it half and half with thinner. And go ahead and paint this puppy. Okay, here we go. Well, I like this color. I think we're going to do the whole thing. Maybe I'll leave a... Oh, I'm out of paint. <laughs> Might leave his belly silver. I think I'm going to paint the rest of them red. Okay, next lure. Now, I have to me a green, the X25. But I'm not going to use that. I am going to use Createx Transparent. This is Sunrise Yellow Transparent. This is water-based. This does not need to be thinned at all. It's made specially for, for airbrushes. If you look at it, it's like orange. But if you paint it on white, it is yellow. Very yellow. But if you paint it on chrome, it turns kind of gold. So I'm gonna paint some of this on here and see what it looks like. Here we go. So I'm going to let these dry and then finish them up. I'll try this stencil, see how it works. I like it. I do the other side now. I think I'll do a black stripe along this if I can. I like the little hump there. Looks cool, and I'll do another one on the other side. Okay, I'm sure people are going to ask about this. This is a drill bit sizer. So you have your drill bit, you don't know what size it is, you keep sticking it in these holes until you find the right one, and then this tells you what size it is. Um, I have a couple of these. One is in my workshop where I actually use it for what it's used for or intended for. This I use as a circle template for painting. And you just put tape around whatever size hole you want, you know, around and have that hole exposed. And there you go. If I want to do, like I could do this hole right now without doing anything. But you know, there's holes in here. I'd have to move the tape and you got all these different size holes. Nice templates. Works very, very good. I like it. 
Where do you get these? I don't know if you can buy them or not. <laughs> Probably can. You must be able to. Um, this particular one came from a club. You can join this club and you get a tool, I think, every month and you get to try it out, do a review of it, and you get to keep the tool. I don't know what how good the club is or anything. I'm not sure the name of it. I think it's the Handyman or something. But anyways, a couple of times I got an offer to join and this was in the envelope. So I didn't join, but these templates you can get at places like Jan's Netcraft, Lure, what, Lure Parts, Barlow's Tackle, places like that online. So, I like the way that came out. I think it looks cool. This one's looking good. Time to put some eyes on. I think I'm going to go with a chartreuse eye. Ah. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'll put one on the other side. What should I do with this one? Oh no. It's getting a gold eye because these are bigger. <laughs> and there's this guy. He has a big eye too. I don't have any of those big ones left. I don't think. You know what? I'm going to put a red and black on here because we have gold shiners here. And this looks kind of like a golden shiner with its gold and black. And they have kind of weird red eyes like that. Now for the moment of truth. Will the future for floor polish ruin the chrome or not? We're about to find out. Most of it's got paint over it anyway, so it's not going to ruin much of it. It looks pretty good. And it smells just like when my mom used to wax the floor when I was a kid. All right, good. And now, this is pretty hard stuff, but now that I have that on there, I could put my epoxy or my UV resin, whatever I want now. So, I'll do the other ones. No ill effects there. Looking good. Okay, the future is dry, so I will use my UV resin and coat them up good and take a look and see what they look like after. Yeah, I think it came out pretty good. My um, UV resin was hard. I stored it correctly. It was, the cap was on there good. It's less than a year old. It was all hard. So this is 30 minute epoxy. This one I wish I had done the uh, lateral line a little. Got a little more paint on there. The chartreuse made it a little brighter, but it's not bad. This I like this red. Looks great over that chrome. 
I left the bottom somewhat chrome. Yeah, I think it looks all right. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. And don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, man.